Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program to Infinity and Beyond. Our quest to land on the Mun doesn't seem so crazy anymore, does it? I mean, a few videos ago, episode 6, my highest previous best had been like 60,000. Now we're up to like 311,000 meters uh, in terms of altitude. But you need more than just raw power, I think, if we are going to become accomplished astronauts. So if you recall, this ship is the ship that got us to 311,000 meters. Uh, despite barely being able to get off the launch pad, it came through in the clutch. And now I am going to do something that may or may not prove to be disastrous. I am going to attach another set of solid fuel boosters to this. So we're basically turning this into, uh, you know, a big honking death machine. But with the symmetry tool, it's much easier than it used to be for me to just get these lined up appropriately. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, we want to avoid uh, getting ourselves asymmetrical in a lot of ways. Like, there's not just the... Like, we want them to be balanced, like, on the sides. We also want to make sure that it's balanced from an altitude perspective. Like, none of them are too high compared to other ones. Uh, although, I think that might matter a little bit less. But, you know, what am I, a rocket scientist? <laughs> no, I'm not. So, we'll grab all of this. Uh, then I think our best course of action is going to be to tie... Man, I, I cannot stress enough how thankful I am for the all those tips that were like, check out the symmetry tool. Like, it makes my life ten times easier here. Uh, I think we'll attach everything via these struts. And that should... Uh, we're going to have to do it on, on all sides here. Or all uh, boosters, I should say. Um, but I think that's going to make things... Is this how I wanted to do it? I don't think that's how I wanted to do it. That's not how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it like this. Extra struts, not much weight, so I'm not going to even bother going back to the ones from before. I, I don't think they'll um, balance me too much either. Okay, I think that's going to hold. Uh, maybe not ideal, but it'll hold. And then we'll do the same thing here. So basically just got a shit ton of raw power. And presumably this should be able to get off the launch. <laughs> Come on. Presumably, this should be able to get off the launch pad a little bit easier than the, the last one. Despite the fact that it's substantially bigger. Hey, get out of my face. Uh, and we'll put nose caps on each of these. <laughs> for no reason. Isn't there like a better nose cap we can apply? What about this? Yeah, that looks kind of cool, right? Oh, we don't want that. I already had symmetry tool on. Uh, then we'll apply a nose cap on top of that. No, we'll apply a nose cap on top of that. Okay. Well, if nothing else, I think that's a positive start. Maybe we can put some circular intakes off the top just to make it look cool. No. Uh, I think that's... Surprise, surprise, Mark III. Uh, I'm kind of skeptical about our chances here just because this thing looks like a monstrosity. Uh, and I think our order is going to be all right. I hope. Uh, we'll see. If our order is wrong, we can always come back and change that. But without further ado, let's try... Surprise, surprise, Mark III. So step one, obviously, when we get to the launch pad, we are going to crank up our throttle. I'm going to turn SAS on. And we are going to get started here. So, oh, man. I think it, it wants to go. It doesn't make sense, though. It should be <laughs> proportionally. It should have more thrust than it used to. Okay, there. Whoa, our order is super messed up. <laughs> but we are accelerating faster. I mean, you can't deny that. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely I need to go back there and, and check out our order. But this might actually work out okay, I guess, in the long run. Uh, we're definitely, I think we're moving up faster than we used to. If anything, I can just get rid of that bottom set of, uh, oh, solid fuel boosters. Totally missed my mark on that one there. But what do we have? We have two more sets of solid fuel boosters. Oh, man. Oh, it's tilting. Come on, baby, right the ship. All you gotta do is last until... Oh, that's bad. That is not good. Don't turn like that. Oh, okay. Uh, decouple. <laughs> I don't wanna... Do... This is not how I should be. Ex... Decouple! Turn on the jet engines. Oh, God. Go into a controlled slide. Turn SAS on. Off. I don't know. On. We can still make this. I think the Kerblins can still live. Ooh, that dose of jet fuel probably didn't help them out too much. But I still think they can do it. Let's turn SAS off. Get ourselves righted here. 
Alright, so... Might be a good time to talk about what went wrong. With respect to that run. But first I want to make sure that our, our Kerbal buddies here actually survive. Why are they not slowing down very much? Ah, there we go. I think they're gonna be fine. In fact, they're all pretty happy about their situation, which is nice. Pretty much ruined the ocean uh, for the rest of humanity, but... As long as the Kerbals live... We're gonna be okay. They're a little bit scared on touchdown, but they otherwise made it. Alright, so we're gonna end that flight. Uh, I think it's pretty clear that, that things went wrong there. We're gonna go back to the vehicle assembly building. And what do I want to do here? Well, I think it's pretty clear that we we should lose like these ones right here. And then we gotta talk about our order a little bit. So first thing we got going... I think this might be okay now. I know that sounds crazy, given the situation. Uh, in fact, this this has no chance of lifting off, right? I want to quickly check this on the launch pad, because we've added extra... Uh, those decouplers don't even need to be there. Um. <laughs> this is a bad start. Okay, this is looking smoother. Acceleration off the top is really quick. We are tilting a little bit, but I can pull that back. Somewhat. Oh, now I gotta... Okay. You know, it's all little known fact about rocket science. It's actually pretty easy. Once you get going fast enough straight up, nothing can, can stop you. So we're about to decouple. Going strong here. Still tilting a little bit, which makes me wonder. Like, I have no idea what's causing that imbalance. But I think we've righted the ship, more or less. Excellent. Oh, ooh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, still holding strong. I'm, I'm holding my, like... W and A keys and A and S keys as fast, as hard as I can. Okay, now we're back to our, like, original design. Uh, with the solid fuel boosters. And the jet engines. Did that help us out that much? I think it might have, actually. Still got substantial wobble here. Uh, but that's, that's nothing new, I guess. Now here's the moment of truth, is how fast can these jet engines slow the loss of my acceleration? Because we were only like five kilometers up when this happened last time. Man, this roll is killing me. And it, it happened at like 20 meters per second or something. So if we can get it to stop before then, I think we stand a pretty good chance of making our ship go a little bit further. But, I mean, going further is not the goal. The goal is to go to the Mun, isn't it? So let's speed ourselves up here. You know, there's a lot of fuel left in these jet engines. I think it's starting to it's starting to reverse here. At basically double the height. Dare I say, I, I, I mean, this is overly optimistic, perhaps. I'm thinking maybe 350,000, 400,000 with this run. Uh, although, there needs to be definite improvements with, like, the... The way this ship works, because... It is just simply taking, like, way too much energy to, to keep it going straight up. Like, if this went straight up, I think we would have less problems than we have right now. But for now, I'm, I'm impressed with this. I think it's worked out reasonably well. We're getting onto our second fuel tank now, I think. I think. I hope that that's how this is going to work. Yes, okay. Perfect. So now we can just focus on straight up acceleration. Already going... By the end of this fuel tank, we're probably going to be going, like, 600 kilometers per second. Sorry, 600 meters per second, 600 kilometers per second would be obviously insane, but I think it's fair to say that, you know, at this, this is like my third on, like, surprisingly successful run in the last three videos. I think we're starting to make a little bit of progress here. Like, my understanding seems to me, at least, to be a lot better. Uh, and I think that Mun is within our grasp. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to land on it so much as just, like, crash directly into it, and I'm pretty damn sure I'm not going to be able to come back. And if I do come back, there's absolutely no way I'm coming back even close to the original landing site. But... Progress, right? Like, way better than I expected. I think one thing I could do here... Uh, we'll wait until this decoupling to explain it, because I want to make sure that I do the decouple as smooth as possible. Should be right now. Perfect. Okay. Well, not perfect, but, but decent. 
Um, what I was thinking is instead of having like two fuel tanks per engine, I could have en like fuel tank engine, fuel tank engine, fuel tank engine. Because then, like this situation right here, we won't have this engine trying to push like it's pushing one of these fuel tanks, which is empty. But I guess an empty fuel tank probably doesn't weigh that much. To uh, fuel, two hundred fifty kilograms. How about this one? Fuel. I guess yeah. Fuel. I'm not. I can't really see how much it weighs. Without, uh, without the fuel, but I'm guessing it's not that much. The fuel is almost certainly what weighs the most. But still, maybe that would help out. That's, that's my inkling of what what might happen next with this. And I think it's pretty clear that we are probably going to uh, reach our personal best here. And of course, again, our acceleration should continue to go up as the longer that this goes on because we are running out of fuel, and we don't really have any like friction pushing us back right now. So our previous best in terms of I guess another thing I could do is just stack more fuel tanks on this and see what happens. Uh, but another thing I could do is just... Um, what the heck was I going to say? Oh, no, no. What I was going to say was on our last run, our, our previous best speed was 1.8 kilometers per second. So 1,800 meters per second. I think it's pretty clear that we are going to surpass that here. Eh, most likely. I don't know. Our fuel's going down pretty quickly. And our previous best in terms of altitude uh, above Earth's atmosphere or above Earth itself... The surface was uh, 311,000 meters. So, I'm pretty sure we're going to get close to both of those, if not past them. I feel like I should pass them, because it was a... I guess it was kind of a shaky launch, but it was better than my, uh, my launch of Surprise Surprise Mark II, I thought. Anyway, in any case, we've added a little bit of complexity. We could add some, like, aerodynamic stuff, but I'm... I'm kind of worried about doing that. We're definitely going to pass our best altitude. Uh, I'm kind of worried about doing that because I'm pretty sure uh, what's going to happen is we are just going to like imbalance the ship and cause even more roll. So I'm going to speed up time as much as I can here. We are pretty quickly going to start plummeting back towards the Earth. But man, I got 800,000 meters? 842,000 meters? That was <laughs> way more than I expected. I can almost, like with Parallax, I can sort of tell where the Mun is. And it seemed like we were getting reasonably close to it. I should look that up on the wiki before the next, uh, before the next run. And just see just how, uh, just how far away the Mun actually is. So I should probably get the parachute out at some point here. It looks like we are going to land in the ocean. If Kerbals live, this is a success story. Man, this, this thing is traveling. Now let's get that parachute out right now and it should catch any second now any second now okay now just slow yourself down I think they're gonna be all right we're just landing in the uh, ocean here so this is the clutch moment they're scared but they lived fantastic I think that was a really good run so we'll exit this one uh, look at our stats so best speed 2,481 meters per second. I didn't see that. Uh, that must be like relative to something else, not just this meter down here. Uh, 842,469 meters of altitude achieved. So that's like more than double our last best. Uh, and we traveled 1.7 million kilometers. Or sorry, 1.7 million meters. So I think that was positive. Let's head back to the vehicle assembly building quickly. So we've got surprise, surprise, Mark III. What is our change for this one going to be? Um, the launch is still shaky. Maybe we'll add some aerodynamics to it. And I think maybe I'm just going to stack up like some more fuel tanks here. It's going to make the launch a little bit more shaky, sadly. Uh, but I also think that that is going to allow us to get, you know, possibly even to get close to the MUN next time. So I'm not trying to get your hopes up, but that's where I think we might be. Uh, I'm going to add more fuel tanks. I'm going to add some aerodynamics. And we will see if this bitch even takes off from the landing pad. If so, you know, maybe we will succeed. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.